Intimate, written by Jason Luke. Let's talk about sex, you and I. Or more accurately, let's talk about sex and seduction. I mean, that's why you invited me into your home after all, isn't it? Apparently, I'm a guy who has some kind of reputation for telling erotic stories that engage the senses and imagination. And right now, you're in the mood to listen to me. So let's have the conversation, just you and me. We'll spend an intimate evening together, alone in our own little world where only you and I exist for the next few hours. We'll talk about sex, intimacy, erotica, and all those things that go together to create a sense of arousal. And we'll be honest with each other. You see, the attraction here is mutual. You've invited me into your home because you want to be aroused. But I've come here because you fascinate me. I mean that. I want to know what you think and how you feel. I want to watch your face while I talk and read the subtle changes of your expression. I want to see the way your eyes change when I share my stories and remember where your breathing quickens. I want to know you and what turns you on. It's important to me, very important because the art of seducing a woman is all about being able to read the signs. And as a writer of erotica, I need to know women in order to touch them, inspire them and stimulate them. Will you help me? I'll tell you my stories and all you need to do is relax and listen. I know you don't need to hear what I have to say. I'm the one who needs to talk because I have a lot of stories to share and I feel I can talk to you. We have that type of connection, the kind of relationship that's personal, but not so intimate that it will ever become awkward. I can talk to you and you can be yourself. That's how this works. But do me a favor first. I want you to find a quiet place alone, somewhere you can really relax and tune out the world. I want your attention and I want you to be comfortable. Maybe it's that big chair in your living room with the lights dimmed down low and the drapes drawn. Or maybe it's behind the closed door of your bedroom where no one can interrupt us. We'll need to be alone for this. I have you for a few hours and I don't want anything to interrupt us. Now, take your panties off. Go on, it's okay. In fact, it's perfectly fine. It's what I want you to do. You see, these stories I have to tell you are those kind of stories. They're erotic memories I want to share with you because I need to work out some things in my head and talking about them helps. I hope listening to them is arousing for you. As I said a few minutes ago, that's why I'm here with you right now, isn't it? You invited me into your home because you're in the mood to be aroused and I have some stories I want to share. So take off your panties and get comfortable. Very comfortable. Good girl. I want to talk to you about erotica and I want you to feel free to touch yourself. Tonight, I would like for you to feel completely uninhibited Maybe even a little reckless. Remember how you used to be before life and all its responsibilities started beating you down, stealing your time? Well, this is our special time together, and I want you to shut out the rest of life's madness and spend the evening with me. Just me. Connecting intimately. Glide your fingers over gently over your body for me. Don't rush. Take your time. Make it one of those casual caresses where your touch lingers deliciously. You can imagine they're my hands if you like, or maybe the hands of a lover, boyfriend or husband. The main thing is to set the mood between us and to establish the bond of understanding we have. If I'm going to be honest and share my stories with you, then I need you to be honest with me and your reactions. Feel free to touch yourself if the stories arouse you. No one's in the room apart from you and me, and I won't tell. In fact, it would be nice to watch you. It would be arousing to see you with your eyes closed, listening to my stories while your fingers caress your body and to hear those soft, seductive sounds you make when you're turned on. Let yourself go. I know this might not be normal, but neither is this conversation we're having, right? Shed your reserve, let go of any inhibitions. This new evening will only work for both of us if you surrender yourself to your feelings and emotions, the sensual ones. Let yourself be taken away and forget about feeling awkward. I don't want to see the woman you show the rest of the world. I want to see the real you, that private erotic piece of your soul that you keep secret. Show me that woman tonight, the real you. Let your hair down and be yourself. 
Really, take a deep breath and let it all go. I want to spend an hour or two alone with you in the intimate darkness and I want you to be a woman. That's what you want too, right? You want to feel like you're a woman for a few hours, not a mum, not a sister or a wife. You want something secret and sexy that's yours alone, a private fantasy place you can escape to in your mind where the rest of the world falls away and it's just you and me talking. I'm not going to raise my voice. This isn't some kind of theatre performance that relies on stage effects or lighting. This is raw and it's real. And it's intimate. Just you and me. Tonight I'll whisper to you. I'll talk like it's just you and me alone together speaking in the hushed tones that lovers do if you like. And I'll be patient. I'm in no hurry. I'm grateful for your time you can give me, and I want to spend this time alone with you. Together, we can pass a few pleasant hours in each other's company, and no one need ever know that I was here with you now. I won't tell anyone. Will you? No. Tonight, it's just you and me alone, together in your special place with the lights down low and the world left far, far behind. It's like a sexy date, an erotic encounter at a secret location that only you and I know about. Are you relaxed? Are you comfortable? As soon as you're ready, we can begin.